Hello students, so the purpose of this video is just to talk a little bit about budgeting and this is going to help you with your budgets and cash flow practice lab that you're doing this week. So one thing that you have is take home pay. This is the amount of money that actually gets direct deposited to your account. Um, this is the amount that you get paid after taxes have been taken out. So if any of you have any type of employment, you know that you're hired on with a particular salary, um, but then the government has to take out taxes. And so the amount that you're told your salary is going to be is not the actual amount that you get when it goes into your bank account. So what you actually get is called your take home pay. Then you have something called your gross pay, and this is actually the amount that is earned before deductions. So when you're hired to a job and you're told what your salary will be, that is called your gross pay. So this does not consider any taxes that are going to be taken out. So for example, if Marlene works full time as an assistant and has a check for this amount of money direct deposited into her account every other Friday, how much money does Marlene make per year? Well, if that's the amount of money that's going into her account and it goes every other Friday, so that might be about two times per month, we could do 1,023.07 and we would multiply that value by two and see what we get. When we multiply that by two, we get that she makes $2,046.14 each month. And because we want to know how much she makes in a year, we'll take that value and multiply it by 12 because there's 12 months in a year. So her monthly take-home pay is $24,553.68. Now looking at four vocabulary words that again will help you with this lab exercise, we have luxuries, which are things that you can live without but you still purchase. Some examples of luxuries would maybe be things like a cup of coffee at Starbucks. You don't need that to live, but it's a luxury. It's something that you enjoy and that you purchase for yourself because you like it. Necessary expenses are basic things that you have to pay for. You have to pay for some type of food, your shelter. Um, if you have a car, you have to pay for insurance, things of that nature. Items that are fixed mean that they cost the same amount each month. So for example, if you live in an apartment, you pay the same amount of rent from month to month. That is a fixed value. Whereas a variable item are items that cost differently each month. Now I know some people are really good about budgeting their money for groceries. Um, unfortunately, that's something I'm still trying to get better at because my grocery bill is variable from month to month. It com completely changes. There's some months that I tend to eat out a lot and don't cook as often. And then there's some months that my grocery bill is extremely large because I cook um, a lot of different foods or the type of items that I'm purchasing. So that would be an example of something that's variable. So now using this knowledge, you'll use the Budgets and Cash Flow Practice Lab um, to kind of look for some keywords, and we'll also be using an Excel document. As always, I hope you found this video helpful.